Good morning and welcome back on Montezuma Mesa. It's our second hourly installment of our Aztecs Now online signing day special. From the Aztecs Athletic Center, I'm Craig Elston. We're joined in this hour's segment by two of the new assistant coaches on Rocky Long's staff, offensive coordinator Andy Ludwig and assistant head coach and running backs coach Jeff Horton, our two guests on the stage. And uh, welcome to both of you gentlemen this morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Well, let's start off with just a little bit of news briefly before we get to the coaches. The final two of the 23-player recruiting class have put their names to the dotted line and signed in the last hour. Two new names to share with you. A 6'3 wide receiver out of Los Angeles, West Adams Preps High School, Anthony Sheffield. He'll be joined by a running back from Las Vegas and Palo Verde High School, 5'11", 185 pounds, Brandon Wright. Along with Ryan Jack, who signed just as we went on the air at 9 a.m. of the anticipated 23 in the recruiting class, all 23 have now signed. They're officially in as Aztecs. For both of you guys, uh, obviously, first few weeks here on campus, brand new, but for any staff that you're in, it's always exciting on this day. It's, for you guys, it's almost got to be like Christmas Day to check out all your new toys. It's been a lot of fun, and to go 23 for 23, no surprises on signing date, a lot of positives there, and uh, a lot of energy around the program right now. Yeah, I think it's really great uh, the three coaches have stayed during the transition. I mean, they really had to hump it to keep everybody in, and, you know, Andy and I coming in later and the other coaches, I mean, those guys did a great job keeping that class together. Let's get a chance now to, to meet and, and let you Aztecs fans get to know a little bit these new coaches on staff. And uh, Coach Ludwig, I'll start with you because obviously a, a situation like this, you're looking from outside at Cal, looking down at what's happening here at San Diego State last year with Coach Hoke and their staff, win eight games, go to the Poinsettia Bowl, get a big victory over Navy. Then you hear the news that Coach Hoke is off to Michigan. I'm sure Coach Long calls you pretty soon after that. Describe sort of his recruiting process to get you here on campus. Well, we, I've known Coach Long for many years, uh, not personally, but we've been adversaries on the field and uh, have a lot of respect for him as a football coach and as a person. And when he called, it, there was a genuine interest there. And as the conversations developed, uh, I thought it might be a good fit. Came down, visited with Coach Long, uh, met with some of the staff and a couple players and Felt real good about it. Now I'm fired up to be here, and it's great to be an Aztec. Well, and certainly you're very familiar with the program, having spent so many years at Utah and, and game planning. And then, of course, you talk about Rocky Long and all his years at New Mexico. So uh, scheming against that 3-3-5, that had to have been quite a chore. It, it is quite a chore, and I really look forward to spring ball and fall camp doing it again. So now, the challenges uh, uh, the defensive structure. Coach Horton as well, you had a lot of experience with being at UNLV, being a head coach. Now you come to us from the University of Minnesota coaching staff where you were the interim coach there for the last five games. Tell us about your path to Montezuma Mesa. Well, I, t I tell you what, every time you look in the paper, you start with San Diego. So I think uh, right. when I left Minneapolis, it was four below and got out here, it was about 75. So didn't have to sell me real hard on that deal. But just a great opportunity. I think people around the... The football world have really seen the job that's been done at San Diego State the last couple of years, and now with uh, with Rocky taking it over and continue to move forward, and it's just a great opportunity and a great place to be, and it's uh, great guys coming in on the staff. You know, I think it's a great mix, and we look forward to just trying to get better each and every week. Coach Long, obviously, uh, Jeff Horton talking with the assistant head coach and running backs coach, known as a defensive coach. Uh, you know, the master of the three-three-five. So for both of you guys, kind of our offensive brain trust now here on campus. Uh, talk about that. What is your responsibility as assistant head coach? What does that uh, entail? Well, that usually means you get the stuff that the head coach doesn't want to do. So oh, okay. Is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, it kind of rolls at you first. But, you know, I think, you know, obviously with the gray hair, you can tell I've been around a little bit and stuff. So it, hopefully if, if Rocky ever wants to bounce anything off me or anything like that. But, you know, I'm just excited to be a part of staff, work with the running backs. You know, we got a great running back coming back from a year ago, a burst on the scene, and just blending in with the staff. You know, I really look forward to working with Andy. I've known Andy for a long time also and it's going to be great to work with him and the things he does offensively and incorporate it into what we're doing now and it's, I think it's really just a win-win situation. Coach Ludwig I'm sure a, a lot of folks are very excited to see what type of offensive philosophy you bring to the field. We know how successful the team was offensively under the pro style with Al Borges in the last couple of years. Uh, how does your style differ with his what should fans expect? Kind of give us the thumbnail sketch of your offensive philosophy. Any, any changes you see in the offense will be very subtle. Uh, the thing that Coach Long and I discussed at great length 
was we're going to keep the terminology the same and the, the system's built a certain way. The players have been recruited to fit that system. We're going to run that system, you know, this coming year. And then again, uh, football, college football evolves every year around your personnel and what fits. It's, it's not about the plays, it's about the players. So we're right. going to run an offense that fits the players we have in the program and it, starting with the QB. And we got a pro style QB, that's the type of offense we're going to run. We're going to put him in a position to have great success. Boy, I, you talk about the returning talent, and I'll start here and move here. I mean, you talk about a quarterback and a running back to build off of, and with yeah. Brian Lindley and his opportunity uh, in a record book that is stacked at San Diego State for offensive records, for quarterback records, Ryan Lindley is a young man who could uh, have his name on that record book by the time his senior year is done. Very impressed with Ryan. You know, loved him on film. I had a chance to meet him when I was down last week, and as I get to know him uh, here in my first week of work, uh, very impressed with the young man, his focus and his uh, drive to be a great player, his leadership abilities. Uh, he's the focal point, so we're going to lean on him heavily. Well, and if you're not leaning on Lindley, Ronnie Hillman, obviously you talk about a freshman of the year, Mountain West Conference, a young man who had a, a burst onto the scene in a way that Aztecs fans probably think of Marshall Falk when they, when they think of a, a guy who just really exploded on the scene in his freshman year. When you look at his ability to change speeds, to glide in traffic, and then burst to the outside, I mean, that just has to get you fired up. Oh, yeah, he was exciting. Uh, we've been watching tape of the games and just uh, the big plays that he makes. Yeah, he's the kind of guy that... Uh, when things break down, he can still go make a big play for you, and those are special players, and, and that's just, you know, he's just starting, so he still has three good years to go, and he's going to get better and better, but what an exciting player to work with, and you got a lot of the guys up front coming back, so that's that's a good combination. Now, for both of you guys, I know that uh, you're walking in and learning this recruiting class just like we are on the outside as Aztecs fans and supporters of this program. Obviously, you know, just getting on the ground and getting your, you know, getting your feet on the ground, getting running here on campus. So what's it like when you've got this new crop of talent coming in? What's your process to kind of get them into the fold and learn from them? Well, again, I think the staff did a great job of retaining the committed players and getting them all signed up. Um, I had a chance to visit with a couple of the young men uh, last week and was very impressed with the, with the character of the individuals. So I'm sure that's representative of the entire class coming in. Uh, as you mentioned, it is kind of like Christmas because you come in and say, hey, here's, here's 23 new players to work with and evaluating the offensive players on tape. It's a very athletic group. Uh, I think there's a lot of toughness within the group and tremendous growth potential. So anxious to get them here on campus. Yeah, and Coach Horton, when, you, when I look and I was just talking uh, in our last hourly update with Tony White, the recruiting coordinator, so many young men who played both ways uh, in high school who were standout defensive linemen and offensive linemen, you guys wind up battling with the defensive coaches in terms of, hey, let's bring this kid over to my position meeting instead. I think with the head coach being a defensive background, and I, I know those conversations are going, but that's a great situation. When, when you've got a guy that can play either side of the balls or athletic enough, I think if you look around the country at TCUs and those, they've kind of, that's kind of been the model with them. And, and uh, you know, the one thing you know about kids, they want to play and, and they want to be on that football field. So however they get out there, it really doesn't matter to them. But it's good to have those those kind of guys that you can make those kind of decisions. They're not just earmarked that they can only play one position. And I think that's going to make your football team stronger. Well, great to catch up with both of you. Uh, two of the new assistant coaches here on campus and uh, people that you're going to become very familiar with as the upcoming Aztecs football season rolls around. Offensive coordinator Andy Ludwig and the new assistant head coach and running backs coach Jeff Horton. All part of our Aztecs Now online signing day special. The class of 23 is now in the fold. Don't forget all of their recruiting videos and highlights available for you to watch on GoAztecs.com. We will continue with our next live hourly update at 11 a.m., working all the way till 2 o'clock when head coach Rocky Long will have his press conference, and you can watch that live right here on GoAztecs.com. Craig Elston signing off until 11 a.m.